Hey everybody and welcome to another episode of Everything OneNote. Today I'm going to look at comparing two different things. So comparing tables and text boxes and look at how you can integrate tables into your worksheets and your pages to create some more engaging pages. But first we're going to get a bit of a breakdown on the advantages and disadvantages of using tables and text box. And then at the end of the video, if you hang on, I'm going to show you the difference between a worksheet with no tables, and then we're going to transform that worksheet to make it a whole lot cooler and a whole lot more colorful, engaging, just by simply adding in tables. So the first topic we're comparing between is formatting. So we all know in OneNote, anywhere we type, it creates a text box. OneNote is amazing for that. It's formatting is revolutionary. It's come a long way since when we used to use text boxes in Word. Uh, but I find adding in tables is great for formatting. So I've given text boxes a good for formatting because but I definitely love that feature. And you can see even these tables are within text boxes. So I like to use a combination of the two. But for me, tables um, takes it to that next level of great for formatting and being able to lay out and set out your pages in a sp specific way that you want it. The next one I'm looking at is reviewing student work. So I find by able to use tables to, I generally create a cell for the question and then I'll shade that in as I'm going to talk about later and then open up a blank cell below. I find being able to review student work in that review student work or the assignment feature in Teams is super quick and easy to be able to get a snapshot of what the students have done, whether they have or haven't answered that question and even how much they've done for each question because you'll just see that text box will actually, that table box, that cell will just expand as the more and more they write. So. I find tables really good for reviewing student work and text boxes, yes, it is okay, but not as good, I find. Moving content around, now they're both pretty much the same with this because generally your tables are within a text box anyway. So being able to pick that up and move it, copy and paste it, that sort of stuff, they're both pretty comparable in that. The other two advantages I find with text boxes, tables, sorry, getting confused, is shading. So you can fill in a box very quickly by clicking on table and I'm just gonna fill that out in a nice gray color. And I like to use that for all my questions and answers and even headers and things like that. I'll add some shading in the top and then have a blank cell below it. And the other advantage that I've only recently come across, it's probably been there for a long time, but I haven't really maybe had a need to use it is the sorting. So up the top here, you can see I've got sort in alphabetical order or descending order. So if I've created a list, I know a probably good one for us as teachers might be a list of student names or things like that. Very quickly, you can organize that list into ascending order or descending order from Z to A. So that's a really cool feature. You're not gonna get that in a normal text box with just simple text. There's obviously a few other features. I've just put a screenshot of my toolbar up the top here. Obviously you can put rows above, below, those sorts of things. The only limitation with our tables in OneNote is you can't split cells. Hopefully it will come eventually, but it's not there yet, but there are some workarounds, uh, but even hiding borders and things like that. So you might set out your layout as a table just to give you that structure and formatting. And then you decide you wanna take away the table um, hide borders so that yeah, you, maybe you don't like the borders for whatever reason, but you can get that structure of a table as well. All right, the one you've all been waiting for, let's have a look at a comparison between two exact same worksheets, one with no tables and one with tables. So the first one you can see here is just a whole lot of text. I've made use of some of the tags and um, the coloring in some font to differentiate sort of headings and things like that and a bit of bolding. So it's a very basic formatting but you can see it's pretty plain and it's just a lot of text. Now, if I want to turn that page into make it a whole lot cooler, add a bit more structure and formatting and level of engagement, I'm gonna integrate some tables in there. So you can see I've used some shading up the top there for my scenario one to really highlight that scenario one. And then I've put my scenario in a box below. All my questions follow the same format. So I've got questions one, two, and three. I've used some shading for the question and I leave the cell below blank for the students to be able to write their answer in and they'll all be able to expand that box as they write. But that's very quick and easy for me to be able to review that. And you can see in question two, I was able to, with the use of um, a table within a table, integrate some images to just add another level of engagement and to add that visual effect for them to be able to identify in that scenario whether it was a verbal or non-verbal communication that was used. And then as we scroll down to the uh, reflecting learning activity at the bottom, you can see just creating another example of a table where 
on the previous page, that information was just displayed down. And yes, the students could select which one they wanted and which how they were feeling or different things, but it adds a whole another level. It's a much better use of space as well because I can sort of move across as well as down, but it looks a whole lot better in my formatting, the structure to my page and not trying to talk down text boxes because I do love them as well. All of this is within my dig text box so I can just move that freely whenever I want. So there you go. Looking at the difference between tables and text boxes. If you like this video, guys, make sure you hit the like button down below. If you have any comments or feedback, please write them and make sure you hit that subscribe button if you want to get some more updates. We're adding new videos all the time on some really cool things around Microsoft OneNote. Thanks for watching. Ciao.